Hi, I'm Dr. Bond from The Rack Doctor. Welcome. What's the difference between a disc bulge and a disc herniation? Well, the bones, the discs, the muscles and the ligaments of your spine are designed to keep you upright, which is known as your posture, and help you to move properly. The discs or the shock absorbers of your spine are made of two parts. There's a hard outer layer known as the annulus fibrosis or a soft squishy bit also known as the nucleus pulposus. So what happens is poor postural habits, traumas, accidents cause you to lose the normal alignment of your spine. That puts undue stress on these discs which then cause them to bulge or herniate. So a disc bulge is where the soft squishy bit pushes out into the hard outer layer but doesn't go beyond it. Whereas a disc herniation or a slip disc is where that nucleus pulposus, the soft squishy bit, pushes beyond the hard outer layer. Disc herniations can lead to pain at the site, i.e. neck pain or lower back pain, but then can also put pressure on the nerves. So in the lower back, leading to sciatica down the leg, or in the case if you have a disc herniation in your neck, it can lead to symptoms, pain, pins and needles down your arm. Just like I did 14 years ago when I got dumped on my head in the surf and blew out the disc in my neck. Now that you know the difference between a disc bulge and a disc herniation, stay tuned because next week I'll tell you the way that you can get natural relief. Can you guess what type of care gave 90% relief to people with disc herniations within the first couple of months? I'll answer that next week for you. If you have any questions in the meantime, please feel free to leave them below. I'm Dr. Bond from The Back Doctor. Have an awesome day.